It's long been at the center of the Bay Area, a crossroads offering a chance to stop, to rest, to put down roots. This is a story of a place which is unique in Northern California, a place where people can find the sense of community they're looking for. Old and new, past and present. It's a place that offers a special vision of the future and unlimited access to all of the opportunities of the San Francisco Bay Area. That place is Fremont, California. But the best thing that Fremont has to offer is its people. Young people, old people, families. In Fremont, you'll find people with pride. Pride in themselves, pride in their work, and especially pride in their city. Fremont's outstanding. Fremont is perfect. Beautiful, I love it. I give it a thumbs up. Well, it's just all kicked back. Happy people, you know, the ranges are great here, the police are great. Fremont's been a nice place for me to live. There's a long tradition of community pride in Fremont, a pride that the entire world saw when the people of Fremont celebrated the accomplishments of one of its best known citizens. Gold medal champion skater Christy Yamaguchi flew into San Jose International Airport this morning and walked into an adoring hometown crowd. Nearly 25,000 people lined the streets of Fremont and gathered in Central Park for the official Christy Yamaguchi Day celebration. Fremont Day was uh, pretty overwhelming for me and you know I didn't know what to expect when I you know came home. in Fremont for 25 years. We've really loved the neighborhood that we're in. Uh, at, at the time we moved in, there were a lot of young families moving in, and uh, we've made so many good friends through the, through the school system. The last time I was a student here, wow, that's probably about this tall. <laughs> that's not much shorter than what I am now, but... I realized we made the right choice when we moved to Fremont when the kids started school. Go Warriors, that's about it. Fremont is ideal for family living. Years and years from now, well, uh, you know, hopefully I'll have a family and settle down, probably in Fremont, you know. I don't... Well, I raised my family here. I love it. I think it's a safe city. It's a comfortable city. It's a small town, a family town. A safe town. That's how a lot of people see Fremont. And that small town feeling is all the more remarkable in light of the fact that Fremont, in terms of size alone, is actually the fourth largest city in the state of California, 99 square miles, putting it just behind Los Angeles, San Diego, and San Jose. I think that we pull that off because we have small town values in a big city. In the life of the committee, you have everything from your, you know, your little art and wine festival that's now grown to be a huge <laughs> enterprise, but still it's, it's part of the celebration uh, of the community in terms of, of seeing the small town values translated into a big city environment. And this is not an apathetic community. This is a very active, involved community. Hello. <laughs> Fremont, a big city with a small community approach to people. And like any other small community, there's a lot of spirit. A spirit like the Mission High cheerleaders as they get ready for their homecoming game against Kennedy High.
Last Saturday night, uh, we had uh, an opportunity to go to my daughter's homecoming game. I cannot believe it. And now my daughter goes to uh, Mission San Jose. I went to a Kennedy High School. Now to say that Kennedy had a rivalry with Mission San Jose High School wouldn't give full appreciation to the relationship. Kennedy! Uh, there were a couple of people behind me that knew I played at Kennedy High School and uh, really was giving me sort of a bad time about it and would sort of hit me when, when Mission would do something great. <laughs> so they hit me a lot, apparently. Well, Kennedy, there's always next year. But while Fremont may sometimes seem like a small town with an old-fashioned style and spirit, don't let that fool you. We are a hub, as far as I'm concerned. This is the beginning of the BART line. We don't call it the end. We call it the beginning going to San Francisco. San Francisco's the end. We're the beginning <laughs> for BART. We're in the center of the activity of Alameda County and the whole Bay Area. We're just bound to prosper. Situated just between Interstate 680 and 880, and with easy access to bridges and airports in San Jose, San Francisco, and Oakland, Fremont is a hub, serving as a vital link between the high-tech industries of Silicon Valley to the south and the cosmopolitan centers of Oakland and San Francisco just to the north. It's a city which is uniquely positioned to take advantage of the opportunities of the future. We just heard a train, and that tells us again that this was a railroad community. Actually, it was several communities, for the story of Fremont is really the story of the Washington Township, an area that encompassed all of what is known as the Tri-City area, Newark, Union City, and Fremont. It's a story that goes back to the early days of California's history with the Ohlone Indians and the founding of Mission San Jose. We have one of the 21 missions in the state of California, which is right next door to us. This was a stopping place for all the people who were going up to the mother load and for hunt for their the gold, gold, rush gold rush days. After California became a state in 1850, thanks in part to the efforts of the great pathfinder, John C. Fremont, the area became a magnet for farmers, mainly of Portuguese descent, who were attracted by the rich and fertile soil found here. This is really uh, uh, was a development of the Portuguese people. The, the early settlers in this area were Portuguese farmers, Portuguese uh, seafaring men, and, and uh, Portuguese fishermen. Those early settlers turned this corner of the Bay Area into one of the most prosperous agricultural regions in the state. The annual Harvest Festival, held each year at Fremont's Ardenwood Regional Historic Preserve, shows that this agricultural tradition is one that the people of Fremont want to keep alive. We still keep our identity as the community, just like New York does with its boroughs, like the Bronx and Brooklyn. We have Niles and Centerville and Irvington and Warm Springs and Mission San Jose. They had been uh, distinctive communities for um, many years, and uh, they were all basically farming communities. Through most of the first part of the 20th century, agriculture continued to be the lifeblood of the Washington Township area. But for a brief shining moment, it almost looked as if a new industry would set down roots in the little community of Niles. SNA Studios was actually a small movie studios, and uh, Charlie Chaplin made the number one movie of his time here, and that was The Tramp. Back in the days when the movies were still in their infancy, cowboy star Bronco Billy Anderson started SNA Studios, the first movie studio in California. And although SNA was only around for a few years, the people of Fremont are still proud of their chapter in movie history. So you see, we could be in Hollywood.
Over the years, the five communities of Fremont have retained much of their original identity. Niles still cherishes its chaplain connection and its ties to the pioneering spirit of the railroads and the Old West. And Irvington still proudly displays their downtown monument, originally a traffic light when it was built in 1917. That these and other ties to the past survive and that the city retains its small town spirit in the face of phenomenal growth serve as Fremont's own monument to the original plans laid down by the city's founders. They did some real tough, hard planning in those early days, and it's, we're beginning to see the results of it now. Fremont decided to incorporate back in 1956. The citizens saw the growth that was coming to the Bay Area, and they realized that the only way to meet the challenge of the future was through self-determination. And once Fremont came into its own, they set out to design that future. When I was in school back in the 60s, we were shown this, this plan, this city plan. And in that city plan, they had designs and they said there'd be a park here and there would be, you know, the city hall there. And like I said, there was nothing there but land when we looked at it, so we would laugh. Um, we look at it now and it is built out in the way it was originally designed. Good city planning. It's evident in the city's government and local services. Responsive police and fire protection. All critical elements in a rapidly growing city. We have experienced rapid growth, but I think because we have good services, that people are able to be assimilated when they come into the city. Fremont, with the East Bay Regional Parks District, also has some of the finest parks and regional preserves in Northern California, like Mission Peak, Coyote Hills, and the Baylands Wildlife Refuge. But the crown jewel of Fremont has to be its own Central Park and Lake Elizabeth. Central Park is something that, another thing that drew, drew us to Fremont. Um, you have the lake, you have the ducks, and you can bring kids there for walks. It's a beautiful place. They have barbecue areas. We've been one of those families that have gone out at four in the morning to get our slot on the holiday weekend. The holiday weekends. That's when Central Park really comes alive. The annual 4th of July celebration attracts thousands from all over the Bay Area. There are picnics, games, and good times, all culminating in a massive fireworks display. You'll see the, the kind of planning that was done uh, that focused on children and on recreation, uh, the number of parks, the number of, of kind of community uh, center uh, activities focused really on, on youth and on children. Fremont's focus on youth is plainly evident in the city's commitment to children. From the top-ranked, nationally recognized schools in the Fremont Unified School District, including five excellent high schools, to Ohlone College, you'll see a community that puts its youngsters first. There are 42 schools in Fremont. A lot of people don't realize that. We serve over 28,000 students, and as well as 20,000 adult school students. So there's a huge population of students here, and it's very diverse. Diversity, where cultures meet, live, and work together. It is the future, especially in California. You know, you were really terrific, and I'm giving everyone 10 team points each for working together so well. As I was looking at one of the charts in this classroom, I was noticing the names of the students. Um, the names of the students are not Shirley and Mary and Sandy any longer. And our schools and our community has become a very, very diverse uh, community. And I think that what we've, what we've been able to do in our city is to look at our diversity as our strength. That strength, that diversity, is not only recognized by the city, but by the businesses that make their home in Fremont, including a unique joint venture between General Motors and Toyota called New United Motors. It chose Fremont 
as have many other innovative companies. I think the important thing to understand is the strongest attraction is the fact that the employee body is very happy living in Fremont and that exerts a tremendous amount of influence. Our company is successful because we have a lot of outstanding people who, who, uh, who come to work and perform every day. When Vitalink Corporation, a manufacturer of computer networking equipment that's been based in North Fremont for several years, decided to move, they looked at sites all over the Bay Area and moved to South Fremont. Because I'm a big advocate of, of our being in Fremont. I think it's, uh, it's one of the best kept secrets in the Bay Area. It's not just the larger companies like Vitalink with its 250 employees, but the smaller ones that have found a good home in Fremont. It's often said that small businesses are the backbone of the American economy. They are certainly the backbone of Fremont. It's a great place to start a business. The city is anxious to have the businesses here and the Chamber of Commerce is very active. So uh, this is a small business mecca. Fremont wants its businesses to grow right along with the community. It's part of the plan. Someone has done some intelligent planning about uh, how businesses grow in an area. Bob Reyna, with John Hancock Financial Services, certainly knows how a business can grow in this area. Kind of bragging here a little bit, but we, we started a scratch agency and uh, we built it into a, an operation that is one of the largest in the United States. This kind of success story is not uncommon because Fremont is in the center of a thriving Bay Area with a highly skilled and educated employee base. I would say Fremont is a microcosm of the United States and that it, the way in which Fremont came about was a collection of small independent communities much like the states. Fremont, California, a big city with small town pride. A real community, one that's kept its commitment to the traditions of the past while meeting the challenges of the future. Fremont is the best of the Bay Area. I don't know, Fremont, I just love Fremont. It's my city. It's almost like you're sheltered because my daughter and I went to San Francisco a couple weeks ago and coming back on the march, she was just so glad to be coming home. She was, oh, thank goodness we're in Fremont. This city has long had a vision of what it was going to be and it was going to be a place where people could live and raise their children and work in, a, in an atmosphere that was safe and, and friendly. Fremont is family. this community since 1964. We're proud of our association and we're also proud of the role we played in helping build this city. Simply put, Fremont is our family and like family, we're not above bragging a little bit. We believe that it's a special place, that it's earned recognition as a city which is the crossroads of the best in the Bay Area. If you live in Fremont, you can be proud. If you're thinking of moving here, you can rest assured that it's a great choice. That's why we sponsored this documentary, so that people would discover Fremont. It's been good to us. I believe it will be good to you.